Hi guys, for language arts today, we're doing The Mitten, another story by Jan Brett. We've read so many books by Jan Brett. She is the author and the illustrator. So this is a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated. So she has taken this story and done her own version of it. Once there was a boy named Nikki who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, his Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and left behind, just like she thought. What do you think is going to happen to that man? You can make a prediction now. Remember, prediction is, predicting is making a guess of what might happen. A mole, tired from tunnel, tunneling along, discovered the man and he burrowed himself inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Did you guess some animals were going to come by? Who's next? A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled right in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the, rabbit, the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Who do we see next? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself up. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not one being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles. They made room. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in, the, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the glinty talons, they quickly let him in. starting to stretch. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and he began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Come on in. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A raft or a waft of warm steam rose up in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. He poked his muzzle right in, and when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave him lots of room. Who's next? Oh boy. That's right. A great bear lumbered by. He walked slowly over. He spied the mitten all plumped up, and not being one to, left, to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal would argue with a bear? Not me. The mitten swelled and it stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size, but Baba's good knitting was holding fast. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Mm, all nice and warm. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. A chew! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky, and it scattered the animals in all directions, going every which way. On his way home, Nikki saw a, a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch his snow-white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw he still had his two new white mittens. But she's comparing them. She's thinking, hmm, they're quite different in size now. What possibly could have happened? So today's activity, we get to make a little craft with our mitten papers. I will show you. And we're going to make a little strip to have them cut through. So this will need a grown-up to help you, but you can color the mitten in how you choose. Take your time coloring. 
If you need to pause to get your supplies, that's fine. I'm just going to quickly, I should have already colored this, but that's okay. It was a snow white mitten, but we're going to let you guys color it how you want. It's your choice. So real quick, I'm going to go back and add my better coloring, but just to give you an idea of where it is. Then I'm going to cut along the outside edge of the mitten. You can leave it white, of course, totally fine, because it was a white mitten. Now this is where you can ask a grown-up, fold the paper just a little bit to cut on this little dotted line to make a little slip. Oops, it kind of didn't work out as good as I hoped. I'm going to try again on this one. Just going to bend it a little, make a little snip, snap, because we're going to slide some paper through there. Once we cut out these two strips, now these we should color in. We need to now keep them all together. There's a long strip because we're going to glue them. So see how I didn't cut them into cards? Whoops, they're just one connected. right here and this one is also all the pieces are connected here because it says glue second strip here just like this if you don't have glue close by you of course can use a piece of tape if you need to mrs osmer is looking for her glue stick here we go so i'm gonna put some glue put it right on top like this and i'm gonna take my oops take my time to color these in after I get off this video to make sure it's ready for meeting. But you're gonna slide one through so you can retell the story of who came in to the mitten. So first into the mitten went, do you remember that first little guy? The mole. Then came in the snowshoe rabbit, then the hedgehog. Getting a little stuck. Then came in the owl and the badger and the fox, then the bear, and last was the mouse. And it just pushed it too much. But those are all the characters from the story. And we will talk about that also at Language Arts. See you soon.